Hi everybody, doing a bit of hay carting today. So, single man, well, only bloke here today, so we've got it set up in a way that one person can cart hay by themselves. It'd be a little bit slower, but we're just sort of slowly chipping away at um, getting it in, just because we need to get it off the paddocks as quick as possible, so we can have stock into those paddocks so they can eat the grain pick that's grown up. So Dad and Mum have done a bit. Um, I think Mum was giving Dad a bit of a hand to do a few bales and Dad's been doing a little bit by himself as well. So as you can see, we've got quite a few in. Um, we're counting each bale as we load it. So Dad has counted 333. So that was just off the first paddock of oats that we've done. So this is the paddock that we didn't um, strip any oats off. So 333, I think there was actually a few more because Dad was saying they fed a few out. <coughs> Um, so there might be, I don't know, 340 let's say maybe, or 345, something like that. So we're going to start on this second paddock and see how many we can get in. It's a bit of a slow process, so the way we're doing it is, I've got the John Deere down here at the hay yard. So, and I've got the old Ag 100 motorbike. So what we're going to do is, I'll drive the John Deere out to the Massey Ferguson and the trailer, which is out in the hay paddock, load up the trailer bring it back, jump on the motorbike, run the motorbike back out to the John Deere, come back down here in the John Deere, unload, take the Massey Ferguson back out, then bring the motorbike back down here, and then go back out in the John Deere. So just keep doing that. So a bit of a slow process. It's not ages to go, because our farm isn't huge, but it is right down the back of the farm. So it'll take us a little while to get anything done, but uh, every bale in is a bale less to have to worry about. So we'll make a start on it and see how we go. Now, I know that cutting hay isn't the most exciting thing, so I'll try and make the video a little bit shorter. And I know I always say it, it's going to be a short video that ends up being like 20 minutes, but we'll try and make it as short as I can. So it's just me today and young Master Crackers, who's having a bit of a sniff around. So he'll ride with me in the tractors. Um, so not anything really too exciting happening at the moment on the farm. The cattle have started um carving so uh, i don't know if i've put up a short yet but they were, went out the other day and top filled up their feeder bin and yeah it was a one of the newest calves running around so that's happening no major things really just same old same old mum's been looking after the cattle dad's been looking after the sheep um we've got sheep in with the hay or the lambs are in with the hay those are the ones with the ewes that we we're going to cull out they're in with the, in that first paddock of hay that we that dad took off um, and then, yeah, the others are just in their paddock, so at the moment, so once we get this other paddock emptied, we'll be able to put sheep in that paddock as well. Um, and that'll be good, because that'll get them in there, there's a bit of green stuff they can eat, so that'll be good. <clears throat> um, yeah, and other than that, just sort of same old, same old. So, let's get into it, get some hay in. <laughs>
so we have loaded up the trailer with eight bales over there. I've got a bale on the front and loader, and I've got a bale on the three point linkage bale feeder. So now we'll make our way back up to the hay yard, drop these two off. I'll jump on the motorbike, come back down and grab the trailer, unload them, then run the trailer back up, come back down, get the John Deere, run the John Deere back up, do the same thing over again. And we'll uh, keep doing that throughout the day until I've had enough. So it's going to be a bit slow, but got to be done. Hey, I'm finishing up for the day. So we got in, I think, about 50 bales. 
Uh, it's taken the majority of the day because, as I said, it's one man show with three machines. So it took some time getting myself, you know, down here, unloading, getting everything back out there, loading up and coming back. So we did well, I think, to get 50 in. I think Dad's going to do two loads tonight, he said. And um, well, actually, no, he's going to unload the trailer I've got out there and then take it back out and load it up again. So then tomorrow I can continue. So anyway, um, yeah, we're on 383 bales now. So just show you guys something. Someone left a comment on one of the older videos when we've done some hay, I don't know, it might have been last year or the year before, and they commented on how big these bales were. So they've sunk a little bit because they've been, oh, been like a month or so since they got baled. Um, so they have shrunk quite a little bit. Now, I'm about six foot, well, pretty much six foot. So they are usually like pretty much in line with the top of my head. Now, they're about the same wide. Oh, they actually, no, they're probably about five foot wide, I reckon. But yeah, these bales are really big. They're not like your little, little bales right over there. Uh, these are man, men's bales. So now, class rolling 85 bales these pretty big ones and they they seem to work pretty right they don't they're not as super tight as what your little ones are um and that's just because of how old the baler is but they still work for us they fit in our hay rings that we've got for the cattle and uh, you don't have to cart as many bales because they're bigger so yeah that's what the go is with the bales so anyway we'll uh wrap this video up um oh, i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a nice little short one um yeah, I won't probably won't do any filming tomorrow. You just get the gist of what I'm trying to do out here. So anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Is that right?